Hey babes, jumping right into the video. If you guys have missed it, the past three videos have just been super juicy, <laughs> super loaded with just natural hair and weave. So today I'm actually partnering up with Julia Hair, one of my favorite hair companies, you guys. I freaking love them, like literally. I'm going to be using their Deep Malaysian Curly, so definitely make sure to check out the description box below for all of those details. I'm starting off with dirty hair. Um, this is going to be a great style if you're kind of at that point where you've done the high point ponytail you know you've done the buns you've done the sleek slide parts things like that and your hair is almost time to be washed but it's been straight for a little bit or curly stretched out um, you definitely just want to prolong the style right so I'm gonna go ahead and part my hair straight down the middle I'm just gonna do two chunky uh, plaits I guess right or are they cornrows cornrows I believe <laughs> or french braids whatever you prefer I'm just sectioning off the hair if you need help with parting definitely get some assistance but this style is a free-flowing style so you don't have to be extremely perfect you can part a little bit more to the left or right I kind of want you guys to get creative with this however I am gonna go ahead and take some gotta be glue and ebon edge control you guys Guys, um, see the texture of my hair. You guys know that I have heat damage. You guys know that my textures are all over the place. I don't have the super smooth, silky hair. So this is going to be great if you have coarse hair. The combination between the Gotta Be Glue and the Ebon Edge Control has worked for me just amazingly. So I definitely want you guys to try it. And if you've seen the past three videos, you guys would have also noticed that I don't have any buildup. So. That's definitely something that you want to take notice in when finding edge controls because I get all the time that, you know, just it cakes up and things like that. And the good thing about the ebon is that you can actually, um, you know, I guess get it moisturized again, if that makes sense. Uh, so basically you can just take like some water and reactivate it. That's what I'm trying to say. There we go. <laughs> so anyway, I'm just literally going through the process of braiding this. Now, I do apologize. I was supposed to have made a video to show you how to cornrow. I don't think that I've done that. I have made a video um, on how to do like a braid pattern, you know, and things like that for beginners. But I have not done my step-by-step -step how to braid video. So I apologize for that. That will be coming out shortly because it's time to ramp up. For summertime, you guys are about to get a ton of protective styles, like a ton. So just be on the lookout for that. This is going to be a great time to go ahead and subscribe and also turn on your post notifications if you have not already um, and so yeah I'm literally just braiding this down all the way to the end and I'm going to secure this with a ponytail now or um, not a ponytail but a ponytail holder or a rubber band now if you're one of those people that don't feel comfortable braiding you can do a flat twist you know whatever makes you feel comfortable literally two strand flat twist three strand I don't know how to do a three strand flat twist I think I just made that up <laughs> but if you need assistance definitely get some help you guys I just just definitely want you guys to try out these styles definitely make sure to follow me on Instagram so that I can see your looks of course and if you do use G Julia hair as well make sure to tag them in those photos y'all we'd love to see what you guys have created you know even aside from like the weaves and wigs and things like that we want to see how flexible the hair is so definitely make sure to send me pictures send them pictures and it's a party so just moving up my edges not even that I really had to do much to them right <laughs> but as you can see the ebon literally holds them down and then on the top of that you put a little bit of that um, you know that gel and you're all set like it dries it's shiny you're good out the door it's gonna last and I believe right over this I did take the gotta be glue spray yep I did um, just to lock everything into uh, place so you do want a light holding spray it will be very similar to like uh, the feed in braid you know how people cake it up with like the foam and things like that nope I believe in soft hair so my hair still looks soft however it was still in place so just a light hold and you're all set nothing too too crazy and the style actually can last you about I'm gonna say a strong three days you know um, me I tend to change my hair often literally as you can see I've had on the same shirt and backdrop for the past three videos so I literally changed my hair four times in a day like yeah, just for you guys. This is love, right? So I'm pulling those two uh, pigtails into a ponytail, and I just put that into like a mini bun. Here's the curly hair. I've literally allowed it to air dry after doing a deep condition, and I'm brushing out the curls because I really want to go for an afro textured look without having to get the kinky curly hair. So 
If you guys have not seen my ponytail videos before, now is a good time to check those out as well after watching this one, right? Um, but I'm just literally looping this around. So you don't need any pins, any clips, nothing. Like to secure that, you're just gonna take one end of the track, wrap that around your the base of your ponytail as tight as you can get it. It can get really tight, so just be aware of that. <laughs> and then just take the track and wrap it around and around. And so just to kind of cut down on time, I actually wrap the track around while it's double wefted. So I mean, you're gonna get to the same same point uh, at the end of the day anyway so yeah and I just brush that out fluff it out as much as you want to this would be really cute if you wanted to ombre the hair Julia hair is perfect for color like you guys it takes color well so definitely make sure to like I said send me your styles I want to see what you did with this and leave any comments or questions down below give this video a thumbs up y'all I freaking love this style it's so simple so straight to the point this is definitely one of those go-to styles under 10 minutes you're out the door and it looks like you tried really really hard so I love you guys so much stay pretty and I will see you next time babies <laughs> bye y'all